Hello everybody and welcome back to Spelunky 2. It's day 38, I think, now. Let's get into it. Hi Connor, how's it going? Lovely to see you. How has your day been? Mine has been pretty good. Pretty good. Got up nice and early, which was nice. Feels like it's been a longer day. You know, I, I, I had a bit more rest over the weekend. Hey Tom, how are you doing? How are things? Good to see you. Always a pleasure. Alright, let's get into it. We're still spelunking. You know, you know the rules. Let's get up above this guy. He can't do anything. Done nothing but played Jack. Oh right, that's it. You were off you were off work today, weren't you? <laughs> You've been platinuming Jack 3. What a way to spend your time, listen. Don't let me judge. Oh my gosh, this has started badly. He's going to do it again. Okay, well, two health down already. Good way to go. Good way to start. It's important that you uh, make sure you feel alive. And the best way to do that is to get hit in the face by a lizard. Yeah. You're enjoying the spelunking. Good to hear. I'm enjoying the spelunking. You know, I said, I think, you know, Thinking about getting back to some other games, um, get back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. I would like to play more of that again, but uh, for now, definitely still enjoying this spelunking. Whoa, hello! <laughs> I can't get up there really. Uh, let's not worry about it, to be honest. I don't think it's worth the time investment. Uh, there's really a not a lot here, to be honest. This is a pretty underwhelming floor. So let's just uh, get on out of here. Why do I use the whip backwards? That's a good question. Uh, I didn't intend to on that snake, but the idea is... So you kind of see... Um, if I uh, Let's get down here first. Um, so you see the uh, the whip has that like back animation on it, and then it has the front whip. Those are kind of representative of the hitboxes. So the, the back hitbox is not as long, but it's higher, and it has more uh, vertical space above it. Um, so the back whip hits higher than the front whip does, basically. Um, so it's actually a little bit easier for when things are coming in at an angle. So the bats come down in towards you at like an angle, um, which makes it easier to, to catch them with the whip. Uh, most of the time where I'm whipping them, I would be fine doing it forwards. Um, but it's just like a safety precaution more than anything. Um, let's, uh, let's go over here, I guess. So yes, that's uh, that's a Spelunky 1 classic, and it, it still very much works here. Boomerang. Ah, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind taking a boomerang. It's a little bit scary. Um, we shouldn't have a problem here. Perfect. Um, we can also probably take this. There's nothing in particular underneath it. I'm not too worried about going to Yang. We have gone round in a slightly weird fashion here, but that shouldn't be a problem. It's also, so you see there, when you jump and whip this, if you do it backwards, you're less likely to hit the bottom one because the, uh, the hitbox is higher. So similar, similar theory there. So it's useful for a few different things, basically. Um, let's set this off, because if I don't, I will regret it. <laughs> Sounded like I dropped that on something. No idea what it was. Um, we're still okay for time, um, but we should be cautious about it, because we've only got a minute left. Okay. Hmm, kind of kind of want to get the damsel. Um, but I don't think I'll bother with it for now. Um, I'm a little... Oh man, see now we've got all these ropes, I could do it. It's now going to cost two ropes because we've come further down. Um, but we have loads of ropes, so it doesn't feel as uh, much of an investment to get the damsel. Um, there are turkeys down here though, and we can always cook the turkeys. Oh, 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 oh. That was a really bad time because I went to scratch my, uh, I went to scratch my uh, cheek. And so I couldn't actually run away from that mole. Uh, which was a nightmare. 
Um, okay, you can run in there, that's fine, that's not a problem. Okay, we are down to one health, so... Very scared of everything that's happening here, to be honest. Just need to not panic. And we should be okay. Okay. Uh, we didn't get the other turkey, but uh, such is the way of things. Oh man, there's a jetpack here. I would love a jetpack. Okay, didn't really want to drop that guy down, but hey, it's done. Uh, we can actually go down to him, because we can jump back up. Huh, just thinking about what I want to do here. I kind of want this jetpack, but it's quite difficult to steal. This is not a good shop to steal from, so... I'm going to cut my losses. Uh, we could boomerang him. That's certainly doable. Um, it's a little bit risky. Of course, it's always risky to fight the shopkeepers. Okay, this is uh, this is not too bad. We'll uh, grab this and uh, get our Uja-Eye. Someone pointed out uh, on one of Tom Francis's dailies that that box actually looks a bit like the Uja-Eye. If you look at the design sort of the shape of the Uja Eye, where it's got like that higher bit on one side. This box kind of looks a bit like that, which is a fun little um, way to remember what the Uja Eye area looks like. Because I think some people have trouble um, spotting it, you know. Once you get used to the shape of it, it's fairly easy to recognise, but, you know, I think some people definitely do have problems recognising it. Tom Clancy, yeah, Tom Clancy. I was watching Tom Clancy play. No, Tom Francis, mate. Of, uh, formerly of, um, I believe PC Gamer. Uh, later creator of many video games. Including, um, I was going to say Spelunky. <laughs> Tom Francis, creator of Spelunky. Including Gunpoint. Um, and uh, Tactical Breach Wizards. Uh, he's a very good uh, game dev. Okay, I was actually kind of hoping to engage... Mm, okay, no, no, okay. <laughs> I was uh, hoping to bait the mole out into that. <laughs> We're going to say you thought you misheard. Yes, no. Um, but yeah, T Tom Francis is great and he does... He puts up a lot of his... Uh, he's also on the, the Crate and Crowbar podcast, which is a great podcast made up of... Current and former members of the Rock Paper Shotgun and PC Gamer communities. Uh, or by communities, I should—I mean like former staffers. Okay, we're just going to break these. We don't need to worry about that. So here, perfectly normal just to whip him like that because we don't really... There's nowhere he can be above us because of the corridor. Okay. Now we can't drop the urn on here because uh, it won't... Uh, thing you'll often see people do is do that, where they'll do a little jump whip instead. Um, I tend to prefer the back whip, just because it doesn't require as much coordination. Um, uh, but it's uh, certainly a possible way to do it. We'll leave this up here. Mm, so you see, that's the problem with that, is it doesn't have as low uh, a hitbox. So you actually can get in trouble using it. Still moles around. Um, I would love to get the the torch. Torch is always a useful thing to have. Because we can cook the turkeys with it. basically free health if we well if we find the turkeys and we find a fire source but that's not too hard to come by we'll go down here it's not super worth our while but it's not a bad place to be 
Now, if you want Poochie, it is a little easier to bomb for her on this side. Oh, no, I've just... No, I've made a mess of that. Okay. Um, I was so focused on... Right, okay. See, now we've got to do fancy stuff to get out of here. That's some hot tip, hot tech for you. I was going to say a hot tip, but it's not really a tip so much as some tech. But what is a tech? What is tech if not a tip of its own sort? I suppose. <laughs> Get down there. Someone, uh, I was watching something earlier, and someone pointed out that the actual range of these is six blocks. That's how far they can see. Uh, I haven't tested that myself, so. You know, take that with a, a, a grain of salt, but I have no reason to distrust the person that said it. I don't know them, but why would someone lie on the internet, you know? Okay. Uh, right, we want to go over here, we want to get our Ujai. Lovely. Hope everyone's having a nice Monday. Been, it's been pretty chill so far. I mean, we're pretty early into Monday evening. Um, what do we want here? What do we want? We can buy a bomb bag and the compass. So let's let's do that. I would kind of like the other bomb bag. Um, if there was like a really oh, this actually might this might be the way to do it. Although we'd have to go from above, I think. Mm. Mm. We could spend the rope. The only reason I'm like particularly inclined to do it is because it would um, it would get us um, okay that set off the arrow trap which is good uh, it would let us get a discount at future shops because we've bought the entire shop out so that will make shops a little bit cheaper is it going to save us as much as the 2,500 we spent? Well, quite possibly, but also just in general, uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good way to go. Got big Monty here, of course, who's brought us a lovely pitcher's mitt. I love a pitcher's mitt. Love to see that. Uh, I'm still up and down on the pitcher's mitt. I definitely think it's one of those items that can have some real downsides. Actually, I think honestly. Um, Having the pitchers mitt without paste, without the sticky paste, is one that can really hurt. That's <laughs> one of the other problems with the pitchers mitt is you throw it a long way, and uh, you can really end up um, getting yourself in trouble by, you know, if there's a ghost urn over here somewhere. Um, we could blow down there. Um, you know, uh, not necessarily a bad plan. Um, we may have to rope back up from it, but we also we can bomb down from it because we have so many bombs. Um, you know, not to be reckless, but uh, I just think it's a pretty reasonable uh, move to make. He's going to get up quickly because we threw something at him. So we'll wait for him to come back out and drop on his head. Uh, this has not gone off. I don't think. It did not. Okay, and there's our exit. Perfect. Um, we can't get this gold. So let's not worry about it. Okay. Um... We could get the turkeys to Yang, it depends. I don't remember if we saw Yang or not on this level. So I'll, uh, I'll have a little look, a little look-see. Um, if we do find Yang, we could cook the turkeys or we could turn the turkeys in. I do feel like turning the turkeys in is a much more viable strategy now than it was uh, even fairly recently. Okay, that's actually not what I wanted to do, because now I can't take the turkey back. Uh, I was <laughs> hoping to just get... I wanted to get off the turkey, but if you still... Um, when you push down an X on a platform with a turkey, you just go down through the platform. 
which is fine. Uh, it's just one of the things you've got to remember that that's how the mechanic works. Oh, this is totally worth it. And a mattock as well. I love a mattock. We're not going to get up there, but that's that's okay. Anything we want to do over here? We don't have a ton of time. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it. Matok is a great item. Always a good go-to. Okay, and now we're on one four. The problem with the Matok, of course, is much like with, uh, with any sort of held item, it does make your range a little bit weirder. And that can kind of throw you off sometimes. I would like that gold. Um, it's a little awkward to get to. I'm hoping we can bounce off this guy's head. Ah, we didn't quite have the height there. Try it once more or he'll die after this, so... Okay, <laughs> never mind. Come on, Poochie. Hmm, I would like that gold. I don't really want to deal with two spiders. But I guess I'll do it. And the bat could be a problem. So you see there, that hitbox, that, that flat whip hitbox goes underneath a little bit. Uh, which is something you have to be cautious of. See, I don't think we got him there. Oh, we did. Okay. I didn't see the blood. I was a little scared. The pitcher's mitt can make it uh, a little unpredictable because you throw it so hard. Again, if you have paste with the pitcher's mitt, fantastic combination. But but um, not having that. You know what? This is, uh, this is quite a nice little... Rubies are very valuable. So this is quite a nice little haul here. We just get the one. Where did the other one get? Did it get? Oh, I got blown down here. There we go. Getting two of them at once is, uh, I think, worth a bomb. Some more stuff up here. We don't need to worry about that. Of course, there's loads of rubies in the walls, and we could bomb for all of them. Um, I think single rubies maybe not quite worth the bombs. We don't have that many bombs, but uh, being able to get multiple things at once feels like decent value. And uh, we'll, uh, oh man, look at this. I don't know if we can actually quite get down there. That's fine. Uh, we should really check what's in here. It could be trouble, but we're okay. And we got a little bit more money. So this is the earned thing. I feel like, I was thinking earlier, there's kind of two types of main risk in Spelunky. There's, you know, there's safe, uh, there's money risk, which is taking risks to get money, uh, which includes things like breaking urns that can have enemies in, uh, so that you can buy stuff from the shops. And then there's the alternate risk where you don't worry about money, but you have to, you steal from the shops uh, and you have to deal with shopkeepers, which I would say is a greater level of risk than the risk you take getting money, uh, but has potentially greater rewards because you can get all the items. I would love sticky paste. Uh, we don't have boots currently. So we can't walk on the... Just pushing my cat around. You're a bad man. Okay, we got two hits on him there, which is nice. Perfect. I kind of just wanted him dealt with, to be honest. <laughs> There's a monkey... Oh man, I mm, really don't like that being there. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We 
We don't really need to deal with that guy. Oh, there's so There were so many monkeys that I actually didn't anticipate them. There were three monkeys in that zone. I uh, don't really necessarily need to kill that enemy. I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was a little scared that we were going to hit the... Uh, that we're going to just toss our cat into the beehive. Um, which is not necessarily an issue, but it could become an issue. Um, I do like the beehive. We don't have a ton of health. The thing with the beehive is because you get six health from defeating the queen bee, uh, as long as you don't take six damage, it's worth it. Um, like even if you have to tank the bee, but it's not unreasonable to take six damage in a run. Okay. Just going to look around, make sure we're not missing anything too, too obvious. So here, this is one of those things where you can hit with the, the back whip again. Because it, it hits a block higher, about a block higher than... Oh, hello. The, uh... The regular whip. Okay, do we want... I would kind of like the ropes. I'm not hyper fussed about the turkeys, but they are... Nine grand for three health is quite good. Uh, we need to be quick about it. Yang's like, hey, how are my turkeys doing? What, what was that you were eating? Ah, nothing, Yang, don't worry. Just, uh, just a little snack. If only this is as well made as remothered broken porcelain. Um, I mean, I'm kind of thankful that it's, you know, that game seems, that game seems delightful. Um, but uh, I'm kind of thankful that this game is uh, not made quite like that. I'm gonna bomb down here. Uh, this is quite a scary little uh, zone. No, oh, we are very lucky there. Uh, mistimed that jump. Okay. Okay. See, this is why you get the extra health. It's to be safe. I'm going to go in this hole, see who's in there. It's Parsley. Hi, Parsley. How's it going? Love to rescue Parsley. So I believe, I think, uh, spending enough time looking at the uh, the different rewards. I think if you rescue one sister, you get three ropes. If you rescue two, you get three bombs. And if you rescue th uh, all three of them, you get a bomb box. Now, it may not be exact. It might depend on which sister you rescue. Like maybe certain sisters have specific values. Um, but that seems to be the way that it's panned out for most people I've watched. And this is our black market floor. Because you see we've got two, um, two compass dingles. So we want to watch out for that. Okay, there was an enemy in there. There is no longer an enemy. This is very scary, because um, this guy will absolutely murder us, and he's basically watching like a hawk. I think we need to go around him. That's pretty much a death trap. Um, now, the problem here, of course, is that... Um, oh, now, where is... Oh, it's here. It's right here. I can already see it. And we need to get in quick-ish before the uh, uh, before we get to three minutes, so that we can buy the idol. Or well, not buy the idol, sorry. So, so we can buy the idol, so we can get the uh, the clover. The clover, of course, is going to protect us, give us an extra couple of minutes to work with. Okay, so far. Feeling all right. Uh, we'll see if we can grab any money. There's a telepack right here if we want a free telepack. Telepacks are cool. We had a good, uh, a brief but fun run with the telepack, which is generally 
how I would describe using the telepack is that it's brief but fun. Um, definitely going to buy the cape. Definitely going to buy mad bombs. There wasn't any paste, was there? Oh, there is paste. Okay, I will buy the paste then. Jack 3 Platted. How is Jack 3? I don't think I've ever played Jack 3. I watched quite a bit of one of my friends playing Jack 3 in university. Um, that's really all I can say about Jack 3. Um, now, do I just want to stock up on uh, ropes at this point? Because I can't afford bombs. Now, we could potentially afford bombs, and this is where the... Uh, additional money we got from uh... oh, look at that perfect I think it dropped down here it did uh, this is where that additional money we got um, oh the, sorry the addition this is where that discount comes into play Are we going to get enough here? We should. We should have enough now. And then we'll leave it at that. I feel like eight ropes is a pretty good amount of ropes. We don't necessarily need more. It's all right. Okay. There you go. See, look at that. Look at what we got. Thanks to the... Uh... All right. Still no shoes. I don't know if there were... There might have been spring boots for sale. Um... But, uh, I mean, honestly, you know, we've made it this far. We can get out of the jungle without them. Whew. No, no real altars on this run, which is a shame. Also, not enough money for the challenge. Does she get cursed? I guess the skull isn't quite reaching her. Uh, we should probably bring the lantern rather than the boomerang. Boomerangs, of course, plentiful in the jungle. Uh, uh, and they can't do this, which is a cool little mechanic. Just being able to burn away these torch... Or burn, not burn away these torches, but burn away the uh, areas. What do we got down here? Paste and a ton of ropes. Don't need a ton of ropes. I might buy three more now that we have a bit more money. Uh, although, we're very close to being able to afford the moon challenge. So I might... Uh, try and do that first Because that will almost certainly get us more money with the Uja eye Perfect all right, let's go do the moon challenge. I think it's worth a little backtrack That skull very scary as always Okay, beautiful. Another compass. Don't really need that, but I'll take it. Another crate. There's loads of crates in here. That's fantastic. Oh, and there's the glasses. You see how much difference that makes? That's beautiful. You can see everything now. Would love that ruby, but it's kind of awkward to get to. I'd like to go over there, see what is going on over there. Um, it seems like a not unreasonable route to take. We'll get this emerald here. I guess maybe we'll take the bow out with us, although I don't know if we'll keep it because of the dark level. We do always need to be careful because when we leave here... Um, you know what? I'm not going to worry about picking up the bow. Now we've come this far back out, I'm not going to go back in for it. It's a bit of a waste of time. Nightbot's always looking out for us, you know. And two rubies there. I wish I'd uh, check that first, but... I could spend... How many bombs is it? It's at least three bombs. That's not... That's not that necessary. We've got... Oh, actually, I need to, uh, I need to grab my torch. Get away from that guy before he causes any trouble. Right, now we're about the same time-wise as we were before, but we do have a little bit more money, to be honest. We about broke even there. Um, I'll buy one rope pile. I don't... If we need more than 14 ropes, uh, 
We've probably done something wrong. Okay. Um, we'll leave Poochie there for a second. While we... Uh... Oh, look at this. There's a whole area we can burn through. This is very satisfying. There's often not actually as much behind them as you would think, uh, given like how complex the area is. Uh, oh, man. I kind of want to go both ways here. Um... Uh, that's fine. Actually, yeah, that works out just fine. Okay, easy does it. You know, I actually didn't think he'd be able to get me there. Got a little bit of time. I just want to go over to this door, to be honest. Because it might be another sister. It is indeed. It's Parsnip. Hey, a Parsnip. <laughs> right, now let's not rush, because there are some dangerous things here. And we'll grab this last little bit of gold. Another 375. Can't argue with it. Okay, 2-3 done. And we're here in the clear. And this might be our third sister. It is indeed. Old Parmesan. Huh? And we've relit our torch, which is possibly going to come in handy. You never know. Again, there's probably more stuff to burn. You're gonna like come down here, buddy. Okay. The uh, the torch. One of the other nice things about the torch is it does insta kill. Uh, uh, it does insta kill the um, the piranha plants, which is a nice little bonus. Right. I hear a cat. Do not see a cat. Oh, actually, I do see a cat. Come on, uh, Poochie. We're going this way. Oh, beautiful. Love to see it. Okay. Now we just need to be careful. Because we still don't have boots. The exit is over this way somewhere. Mm, don't love that. But loads of blood out of that thing. So... That rectifies the problem somewhat. Now, I do see another bloke down here. I hate these blokes. Honestly, that's fine. I'll take it. Exit is right down here. Very, very bombable. Oh man, there is there is no end of trouble down there, isn't there? can see it. Uh, I almost want to just go across um, just because okay there we go beautiful get that blood Pitch a plant. We'd love to get this to kill it. And uh, get a little bit more blood. Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay. Again, I see the problem here. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do.
I hate this. I should have I should have glided over his head. I could have glided over his head. <sighs> what a sad way for that run. That run was going so well. Uh, and we just those sniper boomerang guys where they're on a single platform. They're so scary. Like it's so difficult to approach them. I should have handled that better. Um, but hey, we're here now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I picked him up and then I was like, oh, he's getting back up. This is a bad plan. Don't need to deal with either of these guys. We're going this way. Just leave, uh... Leave the uh, lizard be. Okay, easy does it. Easy does it. Do I want to go over there? Not desperately. It is decent. You know what, actually? There's quite a lot of money there. I would use the rope to get all the money here. Whoop, mm, mm. Walks right into that one. Hate that. The worst kind of arrow trap. One straight on your level that you walk into. Gets you every time. This is a cool shop. Full of things that are like very dangerous. You know what? This this run is not going great. Uh, should we should we try out should we try out some tech? There you go. There's some tech for you. Oh, I've shot someone. All right, we're not going to shoot the, the ghost urn. The money is less important to us now. But yeah, feel, feel, feel pretty good about how... Oh my gosh, the big bombs. <laughs> feel pretty good about how that went on the whole. Mm, that key was almost blown into us there. That was dangerous. Have left my shotgun up there. Probably a bad plan. I love this. I love the drums. The drums are very good. I really don't know where... Um, Okay, our idol's here. That that's fine. That's not a problem. Okay, we can't go that way. I need to go around. I guess. Oh man, that actually hurts. That's all our ropes. Easy does it. We're okay. We're okay. We can get the edge eye. That guy is absolutely going crazy. Which, you know, fair play. We've uh, we've caused him some aggravation. But yeah, very, very big fan of this, this hot jam. It's good percussion. Alright. Now, we don't have a ton of resources. Uh, but there are... Turkey's here. Turkey's always welcome, of course. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Let's take damage from a lizard. Bet that'll go well. I want to. I, I don't want to lose this this run too quickly to sudden death. So let's uh, let's get the health here. Play the safe game.
Man, it's so tempting to try and sacrifice all these guys, but it's it's so, such a risk. I don't even know that we're going to be able to sacrifice our pet, just because it's such a an awkward thing to do. Come on, buddy. Come on. putting off the inevitable really um, no idea where the pet is to be honest I sort of vaguely hear him oh there he is in a very awkward spot to be honest wow we got wow that bomb has some radius to it okay uh, I guess we could get Monty We've got a little bit of time Nope. I want to drop the shotgun. Thank you. A little sad that it's uh, that we don't have the ropes to do some sacrificing here, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Let's get on our way. Honestly, those big bombs are actually terrifying. I need to remember, A, that we have them, because I keep forgetting, and B, that you can turn them off. Right, so the first thing we're looking for in each level, now that we have um, the shotgun, is we're looking for the ghost urn. Because if we know where the ghost urn is, or at least where the ghost urn is not, then we know where we can shoot. Um, which is quite a big deal. Monty, it's a little difficult to get you here, I'm not going to lie. You know what? We'll wait. We'll wait. We want to go left. I think. I think we want to go to the jungle. It's a bit of a toss-up because obviously the thing with going to the jungle is that you have to deal with um, the black market, which is quite intimidating when there's a lot of shopkeepers. There's our uh, ghost urn, by the way. But if you can deal with the black market, uh, then it's uh, obviously ideal because you get all the stuff. Now, the problem in Spelunky 2 is a lot of stuff blows up. And so <laughs> you can very easily lose a lot of the stuff that's in the black market. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to get things like jetpacks when you're stealing. It's certainly doable. I mean, you saw we got the power pack by just being very careful about how we, uh, how we approach that. Could have killed that guy. Don't need to worry about it. Don't need to worry about it. You know? Violence is not always the answer. Still no Kapala, which is a, you know, a shame, but not necessarily a huge problem. I just kind of want to, I, I kind of want to jump on this guy's head. I hate, I hate how, I hate how small his radius is. Okay, okay, he's dead. And we can't get up here. Oh, I don't have any ropes. That's a very good noise, um, but quite a disappointing one. Oh, another altar. And sticky bombs as well, fantastic. I don't think you can sacrifice monkeys uh, as much as I would like to sacrifice monkeys. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's bring this guy down and sacrifice him, I guess. Um, Nice, easy, quickie. I don't know if it's going to be worth our while to go over here. Doesn't seem like it. 
I'm just going to keep moving around. There is a dude up there. Now what we should actually do while we're here is just scout out what we're dealing with. Which is some scary stuff. Oh man, surrounded on both sides. That is scary. Are we going to take damage here, aren't we? No, no, no. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, I had a plan. It didn't work. He aggroed a little quicker than I anticipated there. Not an unsuccessful, you know, hey, we're, we're pretty new to the spice runs. Uh, I would spend a rope for a crate. So I think I'll just accept the... Uh... Oh, mate, you don't even know. Worth it, honestly. Even if I, even if I do end up using that rope, totally worth it. And I probably will, because I'm not going to climb over there. Beautiful. Okay. Onwards we go. Oh dear. So what's everyone having for dinner tonight? What's the, what's the, uh, what's the haps? Connor, you having another Indian takeaway? Because honestly, I wouldn't blame you. I shouldn't do this with the ghost turn. So here, you see, we couldn't whip this with the front whip. But if we turn around, we can hit it with the back whip. You had roast pork. Man, that sounds good. Monday roast pork. It's, uh, it's a fun choice. It's a little bit risky there, throwing him at the ghost turn. I was fairly confident my arm was not quite that strong. That was very close to uh, dropping the ghost urn through that hole, which it would definitely have gone through. I really want to set this off. There we go. I'm just a little concerned that if I don't set it off, I'm going to come to regret it. This dude can't actually get out unless he's right over here. So I'm not going to worry about him too much at the moment. Yeah, roast pork sounds great. I could go for some roast pork. It's been a while since I've had roast pork. I don't know since I've had pork in general, to be honest. It's just uh, not something that's come up a lot recently. Should, uh, should get some pork. I used to make a real nice um, uh, pork and black bean uh, like stir fry. I could definitely go for one of those. It's been a while since I've done that. Maybe I'll have to... For some reason, when this is one one wide, it just scares me a little bit more. Okay. Shop here. I think the shop is almost always at the start of one too, so you can make that quick decision about how your run is going. And I'll run. It's going well for money, so we're gonna we're gonna stick to that. Big spender, hey big spender, spend a little cash in my shop. This doesn't need to be scary. It is scary, of course it is. Again, here we can uh, get a little cheeky whip, get the stuff in here. Perfect. Um, would be a little easier to bomb from above. This is actually a very scary... <laughs> this is a nightmare little chamber here that I'm actually probably not going to deal with just because it's a little too spooky. Um, mm, that would be great to bomb down to, honestly. The big problem is going to be that these punch traps will punch the bomb if we're not careful about where we place it. Okay, now I presume our door must be down here because we haven't seen it anywhere else. It is indeed 
Perfect. Okay. Nice, uh, nice clean one, two. We got lots of items. We got the Ujitai. Couldn't ask for a lot more, to be honest. We could, but it would probably be unreasonable to do so. Uh, okay, we've got a nice altar here, which is tempting. We should go through and we should see if there's anything here. Uh, that was a little bit scary. Okay, just a turkey. You know what, we should grab the, grab the torch while we're here. Because we might want to toast a turkey. Turkeys, I've been doing a lot of, a lot more counting on the altars, and I'm pretty sure that turkeys are worth two points. Same as a lot of other creatures. So they're not worth as much as um, the likes of the pets. They're not as worth as much as shopkeepers, but they are still valuable. Buddy, you are you are so dead and I can't help you. Oh man, I can't, I can't believe this guy isn't also dead, to be honest. I don't want to do that, because then he'll come, oh, this is, this is a nightmare, I just need to, sorry, Yank. He's okay, he's okay. <laughs> I was prepared to face the consequences of Yang getting hurt there. Luckily, they didn't come to pass. Right, so two ropes to get to the altar at this point, which is something I want to bear in mind, because we may want to come back to the altar, depending on how things work out. Ooh, a nice turkey. I mean, this is actually a fairly safe thing for us to get, he says. Because we can just jump out. There we go. No danger. Now, with one of the turkeys dead, there's not much point in us taking the other one to Yang. Uh, in fact, we should hold on to this turkey, because it will get us, uh, it will help us get Poochie back up top, which would be a nice thing to do. So there we go, and then we've saved a rope. Climbing gloves, fantastic. That actually doesn't make much difference, but I'll certainly not say no. Goodness. I'm now over multitasking, but the exit is right here. <laughs> Parachute, I don't actually think I needed your help there, but I'll I'll take it, I guess. Okay, well, the ghost is here already. I was gonna get fancy. But we're okay. We got everything done. It was a, a little bit scary. The big double bash. That's what we like to see. Make sure that's not punching this torch before we... And we should probably check over the other side as well. I always It's always tempting just to not do it. But, you know, when you're on a money run, when you're not uh, stealing stuff, it's prudent to, uh, you know, make sure that you're getting as much money as possible. This is a good thing to bomb. I know we only have three bombs, but it's pretty valuable. Ghost pot, not going to worry about given the circumstances of the level. Poochie. Uh, okay, Poochie's down there. I 
think I saw blood. Did. Perfect. Light this torch. There's one, uh, one thing down there, but I don't think we need to worry too much about. In fact, I can just do this from here. Perfect. Perfect. So bat when we come out the other side. That's the thing we have to be careful of, is remembering to get that bat. Or to deal with that bat. I would kind of like to bring that rock. Um, did just kill a bug. Is the rock worth a thousand dollars when there's potentially more rocks in the future? Only you can answer that question. The answer is probably not, but... Uh, okay. A little sad that I didn't light the torch, to be honest. Uh, we could, we've got spring boots. We can get back up here. Which we'll need to do to get Poochie. Hey, Poochie. I love the way she sticks her tongue out. Very cute. Very cute. As always, Spelunky absolutely nailing it on the... Uh, the little aesthetic touches. We love to see that. Alright, some Volcana action. Love a bit of Volcana action. Power pack, hover pack. Both very tempting. Both very affordable. Um, both very dangerous in this area. So I'm actually thinking that we might skip them. Because we can get Vlad's cape here which I think would be a better all-around item. This is fine to blow up. You know, it's always good to check. It's very... I feel like it's very tempting to just immediately blow up um, those things when you see them. But I don't think it's always a good idea. Um, so, you should always check what you're going to blow up before you do. Okay, this is where Van Horsing is. I don't know if we can even get up to him. I would love to get him because we don't have sticky bombs. It's quite difficult without the power pack. Um, I guess we'll check inside because maybe there's a way we can just bomb up to him. Certainly not easily, but he is up there. I would try a bomb, I guess. I guess I would try a bomb. Am I willing to try more than one? No, not with only three bombs. Not with only three bombs. Will it makes Van Horse it makes uh, Dracula quite a bit scarier, for sure. But uh Let's go get this one first and see what's in here. More bombs, okay. Perfect. Okay, well we're gonna have drill troubles here because there is immediately lava. Now we're not gonna, someone said, oh you should, the best thing to do is just to check where the drill is going before you drill. And that's very reasonable, but I'm not gonna not push the drill button. Like it's just too tempting. It's a big drill button. Can we uh, can we go around here? I don't think we can, to be honest. So we just kind of need to wait for this to drip. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Mr. D big old Mr. Driller. Easy does it. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog. Oh, my gosh. Did that fire dog turn into a turkey? Or was there already a turkey here? I'm really not sure. Okay, well, we're all right. Somehow. We probably shouldn't be all right, but we are technically all right. By the letter of the law, if not the spirit.
These guys can't actually hurt you. Always good to remember that. They won't, well, they can hurt you, but they can't come off their platform until you've aggroed them. You know what, we should just get rid of Poochie. <sighs> Do I even want to deal with this? No. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess you're not safe. I thought you were safe. Maybe you're not always safe. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, okay. It's daily challenge time. It's the 26th of October, 2020. That's the wrong button. But I, I assure you, it is indeed daily challenge time. And that means it's Margaret time, of course. All right, let's get on with it. Out the gate here. Easy way to take two damage. We don't want to do that. Ghost turn, dangerous, certainly. Tempting, absolutely. Ah, and this is the exit? What is this floor? <laughs> this is the weirdest 1-1. One, one. They're like, yeah, we didn't bother making a floor this time. Everyone just skipped through 1-1 one, one anyway, so we did the same. Just lazy. Tell you what, though, I'm not complaining. That's what, like, we have like seven and a half grand? And a ghost turn? Not too bad, really, is it? Perfect, look at that as well. Just makes some nice little platforms to, for us to get up. Not gonna worry too much about this ghost turn. I knew you were coming. You can't you can't uh, get away from me that easily. Okay, uh, I would like to turn in the turkeys if that's an option. Um, I mean, it's always an option, but like if, if it's a viable option. Um, I do think it's more worthwhile now than it used to be. I don't think it's 100% worthwhile all the time, uh, but I do think it's more worthwhile. We'll set uh, Monty free, but we may come back for him. Hmm. Now let's not drop this turkey in quite yet, uh, because we want to see, it may be needed to get our other turkey. Okay, the other turkey is in here. It's only a bomb away. Man, don't love that damage. I just don't, I don't want to deal with you. Please say I, oh, I didn't, okay. Oh, absolutely done him there. Perfect job, Turkey. Temp, uh, tempted to deal with a mole. Not going to do so yet. Not a bad haul. A bomb bag and, you know, I feel okay about that. That's the kind of thing, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. Uh, now, we did leave Monty behind, so let's go pick him up. Wow, we made a real mess of this somehow. I'm not quite sure what happened there, <laughs> but uh, I'll take it. Um, Always a good idea to check that you're not throwing Monty into complete devastation, but uh, he seemed fairly safe there. And this is a nice shop, and we can buy everything. Which I'll definitely buy the parachute. I do like buying the parachute as a final item. You know, I think for the discount, definitely worth doing. Bombing for a chest, not like an unconceivable notion, certainly. Um, running a bit low on time. Just be careful of that. Not like horrendously low on time, but enough that I'm not going to stop and pick up every single urn. Because, oh man, mm. Will you stop? Will you go away? I don't like you. Okay, well, we've made it through. We've still got four health, which is what we started with, so... Not an unreasonable amount to have. 
I've also, in the past, I was always one to just always throw the item, right? And I've increasingly become of the opinion that actually, like, if you don't need to throw the item to kill the enemy, maybe you don't want to throw the item because A, you can break stuff. He turned around. He turned around. I don't want to gamble for that. Thank you. Um, mm, I'd love to bomb for that. Okay, actually, I don't need to bomb for that. Perfect. That makes my life much easier. This will, this will, this is fine. This will be set off. And in fact, we could use the arrow to help deal with this nightmare scenario over here. Rather drop it on the lizard, to be honest. The lizard is more dangerous to me. Caveman also dangerous, but doesn't ping you into random oblivion. Oh, the trip! The trip! Mm. Still not a fan of that. The way that cavemen... Basically, any time anything lands on a caveman and they're next to an item, it counts... It almost always counts it as a trip. And the trips are such a, lot, a short knockdown. You know, uh... We're discussing minus Spelunky gripes, and I feel like that's one of my only ones, is that that's still... It, feel, it doesn't feel like it should happen. It doesn't feel like it is a design decision. Like, the trip is obviously a design decision, but it feels like the... Um, specifically, the way that they will trip uh, was maybe not intended. Uh, the way that they trip when you jump on them. Like, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be a trip. I've jumped on their head. And just because they were standing next to a rock. Doesn't mean it was a trip. Um, okay, well, mole here, which is a little scary. Perfect, perfect. Oh, come on! I'm gonna be dead here now as well. Yeah, eat that, friend. No, the skeleton got up. Oh, no. Oh, what a bad daily. Oh, dear. That was just a cacophony of everything that could go wrong at the wrong time. That is... Uh, that is spelunky at its most chaotic. That is, you know, <laughs> exactly. Whoopsie. That is very much, you know... Got, um, cavemen tripping up um, at the wrong time. Skeletons getting up when you're not expecting them. Ah, oh, underwhelming. Spelunky at its most spelunky ever, exactly. Um, hey, listen, I'm not gonna complain. That's how, sometimes Spelunky's like that. And honestly, if it's like that in World 1, it's fine, right? Because I feel like it's at its most like that in World 1. Because you're dealing with skeletons, you're dealing with um, horned lizards, uh, you're dealing with cavemen who trip, you're dealing with um, arrow traps and punch traps. It feels the most chaotic world, which I think makes sense. Like the other, like some of the other worlds, like World Six, is very chaotic because of the things that happen. But it feels like a more organised chaos in a way. Whereas World One is where it sometimes you just run into a ton of stuff, and, and you're like, okay, I could have dealt with this, but man, you've made it difficult for me to do so, Derek. Um, but that's fine because it's World One. And if you die in World One, you've you've only lost a few minutes. You can you can try again. Uh, if that if if you know if World Four was consistently like that, it would be much more frustrating. Uh, but I feel like the later worlds are a little bit more reliable, um, even if they are harder overall. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for coming by. It was a delight. We'll check the leaderboards. I think most people probably got further than one three, but I guess we'll see. Um, Okay, well, it, so far it's only one other person, and they got to one too, so I guess maybe it was as chaotic as ever. Uh, yeah, cheers for coming by, enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll catch you all very soon. Take care, stay safe, sleep well, eat well, drink well, stay hydrated, I guess. I always drink well sounds like a weird thing to say for some reason, uh, but make sure you drink lots of water and anything else, but yeah. keep hydrated, it's good for you. Take care, cheers.